This video is sponsored by OWC iOS 16 developer beta is officially available and we're going to do a full fledged hands on with iOS 16, show you all the new features. Uh, but right now we're going to go over the new lock screen changes because this is a pretty significant change to the lock screen. And so I'm going to show you what it looks like and what you can customize. So we're going to run through this together. This is actually my first time customizing a lock screen, but I did learn from the keynote here uh, that if you unlock your phone and then press and hold, you will bring up the ability to customize your lock screen. So it says customize down here at the bottom. There's also an add new, which I'm guessing is add new wallpaper. And this immediately brings us the ability to add from featured, weather and astronomy, you have emojis, collections or different color. And you can kind of jump into all that here at the top. It's going to go off of photos. Uh, it can do a photo shuffle. There's based off of different emojis if you want to. Um, you can here add all these emojis and it creates a new wallpaper based off of that. Or you can go in through the weather, which is pretty cool. I'm going to pick which one are we going to pick? Or there's astronomy if you want to do that. Um, or again, you can pick off of a color, which is pretty cool. It's going to give you a gradient. I'm going to go with weather because I think that looks pretty cool. So let's do weather here. And now, as you can see, it's going to show you what you can customize. It's kind of reminiscent of the uh, Apple Watch like complication customizations or your watch face customization. So as we can see here, if we tap on the top widget, which is your date and time, uh, you can go ahead and pick through different apps and availability of widgets and suggestions and whatever uh, that you want to change here. So I can change that to just Monday the 6th with just the weather. Um, I can go with calories. I can go with alarms. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff that you can choose from. And then obviously, as developers implement this themselves, you can go ahead and choose from third party apps. But right now, we just have the stock app. So we'll do date and time. And then we can click on the font here and we can change the font and the color of the um, I like orange, so I'm going to go with that. We can change the font and color of the clock. And so there's a few different ones to choose from. Hopefully in the future you could download like third party packs for that maybe. Down at the bottom here you have more widgets to choose from. And again, third party widgets will be coming, but as of right now your options have kind of limited. Um, I'm going to pick the home app. So you can pick through climate, light switches, um, security, home summary. Let's do home summary. And let's add, I guess the battery was pretty cool. I don't know if that was one that was already there. We can add our battery status to see what we have left. And so that's what you get in terms of your lock screen. And so right now it's cloudy where we're at. So it's not really doing much in terms of, you know, the lock screen itself is just pretty cloudy and gray. But if it's storming, which it looks like it's about to storm here, you'll get the storm interactions, which is pretty cool. You'll have the thunderstorm animations. Um, but let's go ahead and change it to something else. I'm going to do this pride one because it is pride month and this looks really cool. And so we can again customize the different uh, options. You can't change the color because this wallpaper already features a bunch of different colors. So that's what you're getting. Um, and then you can add your widgets like we just did earlier. Also, instead of dragging like I did, you can just tap if the slots are open. So I do have open slots here. So it's automatically adding that for me. So there, now we've got news and we've got calendar added there. And now we can hit OK and we're all done. And if you wanted to add it to a focus mode, you can actually do that by um, long pressing and getting into the customization options and then tapping on focus. And then you can link the focus that you want to link it with. Um, you can go ahead and set up different focus settings if you haven't found one that you wanted to link it together with. And so now this is going to be my sleep lock screen and it's actually going to put it into my sleep focus mode. And of course you can go back and change that if you want to, you can unlink. So that's pretty much what it looks like to customize your lock screen. I do want to point out how notifications look on your lock screen now. Um, they are now kind of added at the bottom and that's where they come in. I don't have a lot of notifications on this phone. This isn't my primary device. So I had to make my uh, lock unlock here for HomeKit quite a bit. But as you can see here, it's down at the bottom. And if I tap on them, I can interact. I can show less. Um, if I swipe them down here, it'll actually 
uh, remove the notifications from your lock screen entirely, but it'll put it down here where it says three notifications. Then I can tap on that to bring them up, which is kind of cool. So if you just kind of want your lock screen to be clean and you know not super bog down notifications, you can hide them and dismiss them away, which looks really, really nice. Yeah, you can click it here at the bottom and you can interact as you normally would, which is really cool and another change for your lock screen. And so that wraps up pretty much a quick video and an overview on how to customize and what notifications look like on iOS 16 um, and on your lock screen. Of course, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this update and Again, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss videos. We're gonna have a ton this week going over every single thing, all the platforms, all the operating systems that just got an update, we'll be going hands-on with them. And when the new MacBook Air drops, we'll have our review of that as well. Now, before we end today's video, I do wanna give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. The OWC Mini Stack STX is a stackable storage solution and Thunderbolt Hub expansion for your Mac Mini, or really any Mac. With a universal SATA hard drive SSD bay and an NVMe SSD slot, you can actually expand your mini storage capacity to gigantic proportions. Three Thunderbolt ports are enabled for you to connect millions of Thunderbolt USB and future USB 4 drives, displays, AV mixers, cameras and tablets, as well as desktop accessories like a keyboard, card reader or mouse. The Mini Stack STX is whisper quiet due to its internal heat sink and cooling fan. You can add over 200 times more storage to your Mac Mini and add RAID protection via soft RAID software. And of course, you're adding a mix of up to five Thunderbolt devices, three USB and two displays. Even though this size perfectly for a Mac Mini, as I said before, you can use it with any Mac, even a PC or your iPad and Chromebooks. And so for more information about OWC in the Mini Stack STX, visit the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with MacDreamers. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.